Welcome to the Brand Theory Podcast, the podcast for helping you uncover your passion, realize your purpose, and take the aligned action. Together, we're going to prove the theory that when we live our lives on brand, the possibilities become limitless. I'm your host, Danielle Marchesi, branding expert and business coach. Let's get started. Welcome back to another episode of the Brand Theory Podcast. I'm your host, Danielle Marchesi. I hope wherever you are in the world, you're having a good day. I am on my second latte of the day, not only because it is apparently a national coffee day when I'm recording this, but I also just got a brand new Nespresso machine and to say it is life-changing is the understatement of 2020. I used this at a friend's house while I was staying there and kind of got addicted. So when I came back to Georgia, yeah, it just wasn't an option to use my old coffee machine anymore um, and found it and went crazy with buying all the different flavors that I liked and trying some new ones. So yeah, it's been, my mornings have been way more enjoyable with, with looking to forward to creating my new concoction of coffees. But if you have an espresso machine, let me know your favorite flavors, what pods I need to try out. I'm open for pretty much anything. And let's just, yeah, let's like make make a massive taste list, right? Like let's go, instead of wine tasting, let's go coffee tasting together. Give me your favorite flavors and I'll make a list for us. Um, So today we are in the second episode of the new series, building a personal brand to elevate your business. If you missed last week's episode or the episode that came out right before you're listening to this one, definitely go back and listen to that episode. We kind of laid the foundation for what a personal brand is, how everybody has a personal brand and how you can use your personal brand to elevate your business and why that is so important to kind of show your character, your personality outside of your business and now today what we're going to go to get into is how to just do that on a very basic level a lot of, we're going to address some objections and fears that come up with sharing a little bit more of our personality inside of our business but how we can kind of keep that super super simple so where i want to start is building a personal brand isn't about reinventing ourselves or showing up how we think people want us to show up This is about highlighting the amazing, talented, unique individuals you already are. It's about giving your community, your audience, your future clients the opportunity to learn more about you and also relate to you on a very human, personal, person-to-person level. I think a lot of us are craving those genuine connections right now, and I'm talking about mainly in our social media and our businesses, our online businesses, a lot of our business is done on creating this audience, on creating this community. And that's kind of how we get the word out, right? So if we can just show our audience a little bit more of that, we're not just business all the time. Like, yes, of course we have products and programs that we're so passionate about and have so much value and can really provide some kind of transformation or even a life-changing transformation to our future clients and whoever buys the products. What happens when we give our audience this opportunity to get to know us, the real us, We build that like, trust, and no factor. And when they feel like they know us and they trust us, they're more likely to buy our products or join our programs. So honestly, like how great is this? (laughs) Just by being ourselves, showing up a little bit more of that person behind the business, we get to increase our community and make more sales. Like, yes, please, let's do it. But the biggest objection that I get is, okay, Danielle, like I really want to keep my personal life completely separate from my business. This was 100% me when I first started my business, Um, but the more I learned and researched and tried to make sales or build the business without putting so much of my personality into it, the more I was met with those objections when it came to sales and the more I wasn't hitting my sales goals. Now, it's not a direct relation, meaning you're not, by sharing, you know, your the three things, we'll get into what the three things mean by sharing your personalities doesn't equal sales, right? It doesn't, it's not an immediate transaction, but this is going to help you so, so much in building that life trust and no factor and building that community factor, that fan base, and yes, increasing your sales. If it's not immediately, it will be eventually. 
But again, this isn't about like airing your dirty laundry or getting super deep with us if that doesn't feel good to you. There's a lot of people who that is part of their brand is being a little bit more deeper inside their personality or their home life or what they're going through. But if that doesn't feel good to you, if that doesn't feel authentic to you, then you don't have to do that. This can be very, very simple. And if you've never shared anything about yourself on your business platform, it doesn't have to be this huge band-aid rip. It can be a slow build, finding the areas that are fun for you to talk about and show us an inside glimpse of who you are outside of the business. So where I would like you to start is identifying your three things. So what are three things about you, your everyday life, things you enjoy, things that you could have a conversation about that you are feel, feel comfortable with sharing with your community? So my three things are coffee, <laughs> traveling, um, TV, well, maybe I have four things, television, and my mom. My mom is kind of the fourth edition, but I started with travel, coffee, and TV. So what I do is, yeah, I share a picture of my coffee, not every day, but fairly frequently, number one, because again, I just got the new Nespresso machine, so the lattes are like next level. But also um, because I, it's something I generally enjoy, and I generally enjoy like learning where other people get lattes or coffee or learning about new brands or new beans or I I actually have an idea to have a coffee bean line within my brand someday patent pending um and so me learning about it and having a conversation about it is yeah it's like something I enjoy and something I like doing but it's also kind of a long-term thing for me So by me posting a picture of my coffee and people are saying like, wow, that looks really good. Or people just, you know, reacting with the heart eye emojis. Or if I'm asking about flavors on my Instagram or if I'm asking about flavors in my post and asking people to comment their favorite flavors of the Nespresso, it's starting conversation. It has nothing, literally nothing to do with business of me asking you for your flavors. Yes, I have a long-term plan to incorporate coffee into my business. But let's say that wasn't a factor. Let's say that wasn't a thing. Who knows if it'll happen? This is a very basic, human, genuine conversation that I'm having with people. And it's not about business. I'm not trying to sell them anything. Same thing when I put up a little story about TV. Have you ever watched this show? What did you think of this show? Or I'm looking for a new TV suggestion. What do you guys have for me? Or, you know, as the holidays roll around, um... I'm a sucker for those cheesy Hallmark Christmas movies or right now with fall, I'm like a sucker for the, the good witch series on Hallmark. Like that's a cheesy side of me that I love, but I love the drama side of TV. Um, right now I'm watching Lucifer and Sons of Anarchy, like completely opposite spectrums. Right. But I just, I enjoy the art form. It's something I studied in high school. So it's got a, or sorry, college. It's got a little bit of a personal tie to me of how I watch TV is just a little bit different than the average person. Um, so I enjoy like the character development, the, the, um, the storyline, the plot lines, the surprises. I love all of that kind of stuff. And if I'm having a conversation about that type of deal with somebody who also enjoys a similar show or who can talk drama about the latest housewives episode, that is just a genuine human conversation that has nothing to do with business same thing with my mom she's hilarious if you haven't watched any of her videos with me there's a highlight reel on my instagram and you can see all the nonsense that i she puts up with from me but it's just um a fun conversation a fun way to display a side of my life uh, that's outside of my business and it's just you know people have conversations with me about wow your mom's so funny or your poor mom because I, I put her in some awkward situations sometimes or it's just it's just a different way to start up a conversation. Now from these conversations we have, you are getting to know the other person just as much as they are getting to know you. They might not be putting up the same stories, right, or reacting to every single story, but when they are reaching out to have a conversation, it's because that they're relating to you on some level or they're appreciating what you're putting out there on some level. So you can get to know them as much as they're getting to know you by asking them similar questions like, oh, what are, what are your favorite flavors of coffee? Or what other TV shows do you like? Or um, what prank should I pull on my mom next? And the more you ask those questions, it's just getting to know a person. And once you do that, 
you have a connection. You have this like trust built. You have this reliability built with this person and you're positioning yourself as a human. And as you start unloading content and value, you're positioning yourself as a human who also is providing an immense amount of value inside your business, inside your programs, inside your products, inside your freebies. So when you do go ahead and release products, you do go ahead and release programs, those people who are reacting to your stories or having conversations with you or not even reacting to your stories and not having conversations with you, but just watching what you're up to or generally interested in the inside of your life, right? They're way more likely to go ahead and turn into clients to turn into people who join your programs, who buy your products because they have, or they feel like they have this connection with you and the like, trust and no factor. So it really can be as simple as sharing your green juice in the morning or sharing when you go out for a walk to your favorite trail or sharing, you know, the funny thoughts that come into your head as you're watching Shit's Creek or like anything. It can be anything that means something to you. Those three things happen to mean something major to me. Um, like for example, with going back to my mom, a lot of the times I get people like, wow, I wish I had the support for my mom that you have in running and starting your business. Not that it wasn't always like that. She always did support me, but it didn't always look like what it looks like now. It was definitely something that we had to work through of me understanding her concerns and she understanding kind of what I was doing and why I was doing that. So that's, if you want to listen to more of that conversation, she was actually on the podcast and you can go back and listen to that. We kind of reveal a lot of that conversation and a lot of how we got our relationship to be where it is today. But that's also another thing that I'm constantly kind of helping my clients with or talking to my audience about when people just slide into the DMs. It's just something that they aspire to. It's something that they wish that they had or they're looking to have or they're looking to improve that relationship with their parent or parent figure in their life. So by me kind of showcasing that relationship a little bit, it's not necessarily, hey mom, sit down, we gotta have to have a talk conversation and share with our audience about how we got this relationship to where it is every time it's sharing the fun stuff but it's opening up that opportunity for somebody to start a conversation with me about that subject if that's something they're feeling called to do again not necessarily selling something directly my business but it's just building the human side of my business it's building the personal brand side along with my business brand side so I want you to think of your three things Like I said, the mom factor kind of got added in a little bit later, and that's definitely something that goes a little bit deeper, that goes a little bit more sharing my personal side. It's not just kind of three surface level things. But if you want to start with three simple things, like maybe you collect pens and you only use gold pens when you work in your business, share that. Share your reasoning behind that. Like share, maybe somebody else has that too. So maybe somebody else collects gold pens or maybe they're only silver pens you never know it can literally be so so simple maybe you're a shoe addict show us where you get your shoes maybe you're a also a tv addict share us what share with us what what you're watching maybe you're an artist maybe you're a painter get it let us get to know you we want to know you we want to know who you are outside of your business and how we can relate to you and how we can have a conversation with you outside of business we want to learn from you But we want to learn from you even more when we feel like we know you. So with that, we will end this episode here. Don't forget, if you want to dive a little bit more into building a personal brand, I do have that free workbook for you available. It kind of walks you through all these different steps and definitely walks you through building and curating your three things. So you can go to the show show notes to check that link out. Um, But yeah, let me know what your three three things are share with us what your three things are and have fun with this this gets to be this is who you are everybody you have personality traits that are unique to you you are what makes your business different and your brand different than others who are doing the same or similar thing don't force it don't try too hard you're you there's things i make up who you are and we just want to see more of it okay i'll stop rambling now you're awesome i love you and i'll talk to you next week